Hello everyone, I'm Francesca, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Oh my goodness guys, okay, first of all I'm sorry, my intention was not to take a month off of YouTube. So I've been really busy working on the ebook, which is out now, I'll put a link in the bio if you'd like to buy it. 30 brand new vegan recipes that you've never seen before, stuff like vegan tiramisu, vegan cannoli, chicken and waffles, um, there's like a lot of things in there that I can't think of. Tons of soup, stews, things that are gonna be great for the holidays. I apologize. I did not plan to take this much time off. And I really miss you guys. Like I really miss doing videos. I really actually enjoy doing videos so, so much. So I'm really glad to be back and doing them again. So today I have a really awesome vegan Thanksgiving recipe, holiday recipe for you guys for vegan chicken pot pie. And oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. It came out so good. Like. My mother, who is not vegan, ate half of it right into the thing. She's like, this crust, this filling, like she really enjoyed it. And like I said, she's not even vegan. So it's really actually pretty easy to make. It's really easy to customize. I, of course, use vegan chicken of mine. You can substitute it for other things, lentils, beans, vegan beef, anything you like, really. The choice is yours. The full recipe is on my blog. There's a link in the description box down below for that. So with all that being said, let's get into the recipe. We're starting off by making our pie crust dough. So I have some all-purpose flour here and I'm just gonna take my fork and run it around in there just to break up any big clumps. You can also sift it. And then we're gonna add in a little bit of salt and organic cane sugar and just mix that up again. It's just important to mix it up so there's no big clumps of flour. Then using my fork, I'm gonna make a little well in the middle and we are going to put in ice, ice, cold water. Okay, really, really cold. For really good flaky pie crust, you want everything to be really cold. And some super cold vegan butter. Lots of it, because that's what makes it really good. And then using my fork, I'm just gonna start to crumble the butter into there until we get it into pea-sized crumbly pieces. You can also do this in a food processor if you like. Either way, whatever works for you. So then I'm just gonna dump my flour and butter and everything out and we are just going to knead this together until it forms a nice dough ball. Nice and smooth, it should come together really easily. If it's not, after a few minutes, you may need a little more water, but I doubt it. This is kind of my go-to pie crust recipe. I've made it multiple times, so it should be fine. And then I am just shaping it into a little ball. So this is the little baking dish I'm using. It's a six inch baking dish, and I need something to fill the inside with the pie crust and then the top of the pie crust. So I'm gonna cut my dough ball into two balls, a little bit uneven, because I'm not gonna need as much um, pie crust to cover the top as I'll need to fill it inside and I'm working it into a ball And then we are just going to put this in the fridge to chill for about an hour while we work on our filling So for our filling I'm using this chicken from tofurkey It's really good of course use anything you have and then we're gonna add some oil into a big pan And then I'm gonna add in some chopped up carrots and onion we're gonna cook those for a few minutes until the onions are translucent, about five to seven minutes. And then we're gonna add in some more vegan butter. And I am using the one from Miyoko's in case you were curious. And we're just gonna let that vegan butter melt down. Once the vegan butter is really nice and melted, we are going to add in flour. The butter and the flour together form a roux, which is a thickening agent. And that's what makes the inside of this chicken pot pie so like creamy and delicious and good. And then once all the flour is kind of absorbed and brown and cooked in there and no longer looking like raw white flour, we are going to add in non-dairy milk. I am using unsweetened, unflavored almond milk. Use any non-dairy milk you like and just whisk it in there and stir it in so that way there's no large clumps and the flour can really cook in there. And then we're gonna add in some vegetable broth as well. So we're just gonna let this cook and thicken up. Into here, we're gonna add some peas and corn, and then of course our vegan chicken. And I'm just gonna kind of use my little spatula to break everything up, get it well incorporated. Really no right or wrong way to do this. So then I'm gonna add in some seasonings, a tiny bit of salt because there was some butter in here in the veggie broth, although I am using low sodium veggie broth, some pepper and some thyme, the tiniest little bit, cause I don't want it to be like, overly seasoned and then we're just going to mix that together and that's pretty much it for our filling i mean you can add in more seasonings if you like i prefer mine to be a bit more on the plain side and it's just going to be nice and thick and it's a perfect filling so i'm taking my chilled dough ball and i'm working on it on a floured surface and we are just going to roll this out 
to a pretty thin, maybe like a quarter of an inch, half an inch thick, um, nice big circle. And then I'm gonna roll that pie crust up onto the rolling pin to help transfer it into the bowl. So I am just draping it over this baking dish and then I'm gonna kind of push the pie crust in there and make sure everything is lined with pie crust and then I'll cut off any excess edges and touch up anywhere that I need to touch up. So then we're gonna spoon in our filling into here and this is, oh my gosh, it's so good. I'm just so hungry watching this video. Now, of course, you can make little mini pot pies. You can make a one like big like nine inch pot pie. I just saw this baking dish and it was just too cute to pass up on. And then I'm taking my other piece of dough that I rolled out, draping that over, kind of sealing that up, and then I will cut off any of those excess edges. And this recipe should be enough to fill a nine inch pan or to make like three to four little mini ramekins. And then I'm just going to seal the top of the pie with my fork. You can be super fancy and flute the edges if you like, but you know, I think a little bit of the fork pressure is fine. And then we are just going to put some almond milk that I mixed with some turmeric on top just to give it extra goldeny crust. And then I made a little X to ventilate and we're gonna bake this in the oven at 400 for about 30 minutes. When it's done, it should look like this. It kind of puffs up out of the baking dish, which is so cute. And it's super golden and gorgeous on top and it's just, it's flaky and crumbly and it's delicious. And then I just added a few sprigs of fresh thyme on there just to make it look pretty. And this is it, oh my goodness, it is. Oh my god, I'm in love with this. I'm just so in love. It's like so pretty, it's so golden, it's so gorgeous. And are you ready for the inside? Oh yes. Flaky, flaky crust, creamy, delicious filling. Just really so good. Perfect for the holidays. Perfect to share with family, friends, a Friendsgiving, a Thanksgiving, whatever. It's just so good and you know you guys are really going to enjoy it. All right guys, and that was our amazing vegan chicken pot pie. What did you think? Do you want it? Are you gonna try and make it? It is so good. Like, I'm not even kidding. It is amazing. I really hope you guys try it, because if you do try it, I think you're gonna love it. I miss you guys so much. Thank you for bearing with me while I was busy working on other things, but I'm back. We're back in action. Back to two videos a week, and then I'll probably upload more in December for the holidays. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on next Thursday with another video. Bye guys.